This week on The Dish, we take you to Philadelphia to meet brothers Benjamin and Robert Bynum. The two have been on Philadelphia's food and music scene for decades, offering up Southern-inspired food and preserving the city's rich jazz tradition, a history intertwined with their own family. But I'm just a little player. South Jazz Club, it's about harmony and improvisation. On stage and in the kitchen, an experience carefully crafted by brothers Benjamin and Robert Bynum, complete with a modern take on classic Southern dishes. What is soul food to you? I think every culture has soul food, and I think it's something that evokes warm feelings, childhood memories. Um, time spent with family. I was treated to a feast reminiscent of my grandmother's table with dishes like seafood stew, deviled eggs, red rice, and brown sugar pineapple bread pudding. In all the years I've done dishes, I don't think I've ever had this much food plated <laughs> for me. I gotta dig in. This red rice is so delicious. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Mm. Oh my gosh. Benjamin, who has formal culinary training, tries to make these dishes as healthy as possible. Ben used to be a smoker. How did you know that? Um. I quit because I began to feel the effects of smoking. And the effects of unhealthy eating. So he decided his soul food menu needed a diet too. This food is traditional soul food, but it, it's rather light. The stereotype of Southern food is it's fried chicken and catfish. I wouldn't have felt right not to do one of those dishes since it is something that is part of what we do and it's something that is part of our history and our culture. But there are certainly methods and ways to cook food that's full of flavor that, you know, you're not pushing the envelope with your cholesterol and everything, but I'm not going to lie to you, it's a lot of cheese and butter yeah, and cream there and is, mac and cheese. There is no getting around the mac and cheese. Mm. Benjamin invited me into the kitchen to make one of South's popular dishes, the blue crab toast. We're gonna make the lemon caper ravigote, which is a fancy way for saying lemon horseradish mayonnaise. Horseradish, scallions, mustard, lemon juice, mayo, and lump crab meat on toasted brioche. And then we have our avocado and with so lemon juice, salt, okay. pepper. And we take that and we just do a nice little That's our blue crab There toast. it is, check that out. Look at this. I did it all by myself. <laughs> you enjoy a nice, uh, a nice evening of, of dinner and then come next door into the jazz club to listen to a set of music. The front of the house is Robert's domain. The Wharton grad mimics the 60 year career of his late father, Benjamin Bynum Sr. He owned the Cadillac Club, which later became Impulse, hosting the likes of Aretha Franklin, Nina Simone, and Fats Domino. When you think about your dad's club and what it meant mm -hmm. to the folks who were employed there, to the community that it served, what was it that it provided that no place else could? Impulse was at Broad in Germantown, which might be considered to be a low-income area, and he made a commitment to the community to have a place that was upscale, elegant, and treated people um, in a manner that they um, might not be treated every place. So they really felt like it was a refuge within the community. So service was really yeah. important to your family. Very much so. I mean, it was a, a safe haven kind of for us. Um, you know, we grew up at that time, uh, it was in the heart of North Philadelphia, it used to be called Yorktown. Um, it was uh, a challenging area, but I think that um, it was a place where people enjoyed getting dressed up and going, which was a little bit uh, unusual for those times. Since 1990, the brothers picked up the reins with six restaurants in Philadelphia, including Zanzibar Blue, open from 1990 to 2007. You opened the club when jazz was on the decline. How much part of keeping that tradition alive was Zanzibar Blue? Philadelphia has a rich jazz tradition, and we felt like things had begun to slide a little bit. So we were very committed to, pre to presenting um, upscale, uh, environment with really big names. We did Lou Rawls, we did Chick Corea, we've done Jimmy Scott, we've done Nancy Wilson. So we were really committed to bringing back jazz to the city of Philadelphia. 
Benjamin Bynum Sr. also worked with his sons at their longest-running eatery, Warm Daddy's. He died at the age of 98, just last year. He uh, handled our door at Warm Daddy's for, for many, many years. Um, he only stopped probably a, a year or so before he passed away. And he was very much our rock. He was very much who we relied on to bounce ideas off and to be supportive of what we were doing. So it was a loss, but we still have his legacy to hold on to. The brothers decided to close Warm Daddy's during the pandemic, but continue to serve up food and music at Relish and here at South, the ultimate celebration of their father's legacy. Business is good. People are coming back? People are coming back. The vaccine mandate has been lifted. The mask mandate has just been lifted in Philadelphia. So that's really made a big difference to folks and people are coming out and I think they're feeling, beginning to feel a lot more comfortable. Really? We've been fortunate to have a very loyal clientele that supports us at all of our venues. So that's something that has uh, been reassuring for us. And nothing gets those guys too excited. I mean, they're very even keeled. Yes. It's how they run the business and how they've been able to run it for so long. Of course, I brought you some goodies Thank you. here. Thank you. We have everything from mac and cheese to their cornbread, the blue crab toast that I uh, made myself. Good job with that. Deviled eggs. There's catfish and and uh, shrimp and uh, seafood bouillabaisse. But the one thing they did not bring was my absolute, or sin, was my absolute favorite. What? 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 It was the pineapple bread. Bread pudding. Ooh. Oh, the man. best bread pudding I have ever had. I really? love bread and pudding. Folks in New Orleans, uh, I got something to tell you. What? Hate to break that news to you. It was better than New Orleans' own. What? Wow. I'm not kidding you. Michelle talking you smack know, about New Orleans. I'm talking smack about my own. What do we got here? Is That's this a, a sidecar? Oh, uh, this, yes, darling. Mm, cheers. Cheers. Cheers, folks. Cheers. Nice to have you here, Jamie. Nice piece, Michelle. Thank you.